Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, we're off on a remote site and uh, we're here on a straight up battery backup system. This has no solar at this point in time. A uh, customer bought this house and it had a bank of HUP lead acids and they were destroyed. I, they were at zero volts. So I have never seen that. Uh, so it was pretty interesting. So we pulled out the HUPs and we upgraded the system with the Outback Nano Carbons. Um, these are supposed to be able to sit at what they call um, partial state of charge without affecting the system. Because this system is only charged by a generator, it uh, needs to have the utility ran to it. We'll pretty much turn the system on once a month, charge the batteries up all the way, and then turn them off and let them float back down. Now, they're supposed to last a long time in that, in that type of scenario. They're actually made more for that than to sit at float. So uh, these are the Outback Alpha Cell 200 nanocarbons. Um, you've seen uh, the, the IBR3 rack in my grid tie with battery backup that I did in the Bay Area. I really like this. Uh, this is a clean setup. Each string is independently breakered. Um, if there ever was a problem, we can turn off one string and the other two are good to go. Um, so this is a really good battery backup type option. Um, of course, I set everything up for later on. We can put in an Outback Radian. Um, this is exact, you know, also set up to do grid tie with battery backup and he'll be able to sell. Uh, we could do peak load shaving off these if we really needed to because pg and &E is getting ready to change for everybody in California. And uh, we're going to see more and more people that are putting batteries to shave off that peak load. So uh, again, this inverter that we got here is an old one. This is the Trace uh, 5548. This was a great inverter for its time. Um, probably one of the most robust, you know, off-grid ones we had for a long time. Um, but we'll leave them in until he decides to upgrade it to do some grid tie and uh, go to the next step. So, hey, thanks again, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.